Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I, we uh, have a special guest. It's my mom. Say hi, mom. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Uh, long distance, Mom. Uh, where where are you now? Where am I now? Yeah, yeah. Where where are you hailing from? I'm uh, recording from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> in Toronto, and I'm in rural Alberta, just south of Athabasca. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you meant yeah. No, that's okay. That's I'll okay. Just, yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, now, uh, you being my mom. Uh, you raised us in Toronto. Uh, there was uh, Teresa, our older brother, um, uh, my older brother, me, and Larissa, our musical sister. And um, uh, you were a music teacher. Uh, you're now retired. So did you want to tell us a little bit about uh, raising us as kids and teaching us how to sing? Well, maybe I'll start from my mother, who was my teacher. Oh, hey, there's an excellent idea. She had a lovely voice. She had a wonderful memory. So to pass the time away, she sang. And then I was, uh, the other two, uh, George and Anna were in school, and I was the, I was still at home. And so I, I learned all her songs and sang along with her. And then she would recite poetry. She'd sing in different languages. And being a kid, you know, I kind of picked everything up. And so um, I knew a lot of songs, mostly in Ukrainian. But then when I was four, she decided to um, put me in a Ukrainian festival, and and I won first prize for my age group, and so that propelled me to be on a stage at age four at Massey Hall, if you can believe Yes, it. there's a photo for that, isn't there? I know, yeah. and I was so short, they had to put me on a, the conductor's uh, pedestal, <laughs> you know and to make me higher so that everybody could see me yeah <laughs> adorable <laughs> and I re remember my mother saying would you like me to stand behind the curtain or or shall i go and sit in the front row and i said no you can go sit in the front row <laughs> <laughs> that's nice be comfortable and so, uh, yeah and so that's how i um started singing more yep. and then when i went to school you know you learn everything in english and i and uh, i had good primary teachers good kindergarten teachers that played the piano and so i knew then that i wanted to teach but i didn't think i'd end up teaching music <laughs> but somehow music and uh my schooling kind of is like a you know a thread it just interwoven one into the other. And so I kept singing right through middle school. And I went on TV, the Tiny Talent Show, and the Ukrainian uh, occasions. And then, of course, we were very a social family. And so we had a lot of parties. And it was a custom that everybody would get up and entertain everybody else. So, of course, my brother played violin. Yes, and, uh, yeah, I was going to mention that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and I sang, and Roman played the uh, accordion. So we were kind of used to mingle with, with older people. My, my family, you know, had uh, a lot of friends. And so I felt comfortable doing that. And then, of course, I went to high school and starred in a few musicals. And then after that, I went to teacher's college and uh, to teach uh, grade one and true right off the bat, where I could do a lot of music <laughs> and plan these festivals and, and uh, concerts. And so it just one thing led to another. So I asked my mom and dad if they could base it. And I went back to university and uh, I finished my degree in fine arts, majoring in music. There we so, go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, but I didn't teach music when I went back <clears throat> after seven years or five years or whatever it was. Um, I, I went back to halftime kindergarten. I still have to meet you guys at the bus stop and all that. So, uh, you know, it took a 
few years, and then I switched to another school, and uh, another grade one, two. And my principal says, Jerry, every time I walk by your room, you're singing. I, I, and we, we just lost our music teacher. Any way that you could teach music for us? I said, I could. There and she you said, go. Are you qual are you qualified? I said, yeah. <laughs> yes. She says, okay. You want to start on Monday? I said, well, what am I going to do with the other half of the day? She says, oh, you can teach primary ESL. And I said, okay. So I did that for a few years. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to go for it and do full time music. And that's when the world opened up. I mean, it was great. You know, it was. All the liturgies and two schools, and one was in Etobicoke, one was the you know downtown Toronto, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. everything that it takes to run a program, festivals, outings, I and mean, the normal classroom teaching, of course. I did, did or <laughs> and I did movement. So, so uh, you were you were not only talent recruitment, uh, and, but you were also management and stage management. You were a promoter. Um, yeah. You you covered you wore many hats in order to get shows going right uh, part of the curriculum for the kids when they're learning and to do their productions and such right right wow yeah, yeah you you encapsulated <laughs> all the many hats I wore well but I mean that's the music industry in in a nutshell kind of uh, having to organize everything. You at least had the foundation of the uh, of the separate school board there to help you out, right? Oh yeah, I but mean, you organized it. That, that's, that's there were workshops and there were uh, that I took, and there were other music teachers, and so there was a nice group of ladies. I remember having to go over to uh, the senior kindergarten when I had a, an off day, and uh, I was able to help corral the kids. <laughs> and you had your. <laughs> You had your magic song on the piano. You hit a C and then a C E G triad. Tidy up, tidy up, everybody tidy up right now. A lot of things to music. <laughs> Entrainment. That was great. It was perfect. And all the kids would stop what they're doing. They would sing along with the song, and they knew what time it was. So it was like, okay, je. It's uh, time to get yourself organized, and you use music as a tool for that, which was wonderful. And yeah, I stayed with music uh, until 2006 when I retired, and then I missed the singing of the kids, so I went back and I supplied. I, I did grades, but I did mostly music because the teachers that called me knew that, <laughs> you know, that I do my own thing, and mm -hmm. so they would. Daria, do you want me to leave lesson plans? I said, no, it's okay. I have my own stuff. So the night before, I'd be looking through stuff. And, and it was so nice to come back into the schools and say, yes, music today. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, are you coming to our room? I said, no, not this week. <laughs> it's a treasure, yeah. Yeah, you you it sounds like you were really um, sought after. You um, you put things yeah. together. You helped organize. You had a support group of uh, like-minded individuals to help you. Um, you uh, were able to get the resources that you needed too, um, which is wonderful that we in our education system here in Canada have that resource. Um, there's yeah. always threats of cutting this or changing the curriculum, and music is always kind of on the books there. Uh, and you were able to make it work, and uh, the kids loved it. So thank you for everything that you did. Right now, you're in the kitchen in Toronto. Uh, because of all the remodeling after I had left, and uh, the rest had gone to Australia, and you need to get the basement redone, you now have a baby grand piano in your kitchen. <laughs> yes. And what? are you able to lift up the, the cover and play some notes for us, maybe t t tickle the ivories? Beautiful! Bravo! Bravo! With that piano! I didn't think you could actually would do that, but that uh, that worked out amazingly. Like, holy cow. And now, Victoria, your, uh... <laughs> My niece, yeah. Yeah, your niece is playing piano on it, and she's doing really well. Really? She's doing yeah, some she rudiments of music? Piano. Oh, 
yeah, she loves playing, and then she'll just chord, she'll do C, G, F, D, and she'll sing, I'm just sing opera. <laughs> so, you know, she'll go, and I'll go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever chord she plays, I sing. <laughs> nice, so you are able to match it and she can hear the, the, yes, the differences right. in frequencies and the intonation. That's yes. really good. I'm sure she's learning. She's uh, paying attention and learning. We'll see what comes of that. And of course, Larissa, being some musical herself, starring in several musicals, both in high school and outside, um, I'm sure that she's going to learn a lot from her too. Yes, she is. Yeah, and I'm teaching her ukulele. She knows four chords on the ukulele. Okay. And so, um, yeah, and, and we do karaoke. She's the one now who brings the tunes home. She says, there's a new movie out about you in Canto. I said, yes. Uh, and, and she says, uh, do you want to do karaoke? I said, sure. I said, you go first. So I get a stool, she stands on it, and then she takes a, a magic marker as a, 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 <laughs> a microphone. Yeah. And she sings. You know, Bruno, no, 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 no. <laughs> and, she, and, she, and she's doing the Spanish along with it. I'm telling you, she's jumping on and off. And then she says, Your turn. I thought, Oh, God, I can't beat that. <laughs> I can do. <laughs> Prior to me leaving uh, Ontario, staying at Larissa's place for uh, a month or so, uh, Victoria had um, this um, like purse. Uh, um, it, it was actually a speaker that she can wear around her shoulder, and it, attached to it was a microphone. And she mm -hmm. would sing into the microphone. It get picked up, and it would go through the speaker. And so right. she, I would always imagine that she was on a stage surrounded by thousands of cra of, of a huge crowd and sing to them. And that was really, really nice to see uh, at such an early age. You know, she really, really wants to entertain. She's got the the drive, the passion, and the, the imagination for some fun to do that entertainment. So that's good. It's passed definitely passed down from Batya, from your mom, down through you yes. to the Larissa, now to, to uh, Victoria. Yes, that's true. It's in the family. Uh, mm. It's in the DNA, Adrian. <laughs> it's it's there to be fostered by the nurturing, definitely. That's right, yeah, yeah. Well, I have to, uh, you know, uh, thank my mom because uh, she passed her love and, and, of singing and, and music to me and my siblings, and I, in turn, uh, did the same with my kids. I mean, I go with my friends to Ed Mervis shows, uh, like uh, Come From Away, Carol King's Story, like, yeah, you know, uh, some, not all of them. Uh, I'm picking shoes. I go when Tarasa is singing uh, and has a part in the opera. I make sure that I'm there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and um, I, what did we take? Oh, um, The Mermaid. We took, uh, yeah, the teachers were putting on The Little Mermaid, and so I got tickets, and Larissa and her friend uh, from school and Victoria and I, we went and watched The Little Mermaid, and so I'm starting her off <laughs> going to see musicals. Mind you, you know, with these days on Netflix, you can get any musical you want, but it's not the same thing. Live oh, theater. yeah, live theater is so theater. different. Oh. Yes. The experience of actually being in there and having to sit and pay attention in comfortable seats with the friends that you are going to enjoy afterwards or family, um, yeah. seeing the whole stage production, it's not, it's not just the music in itself, it's the experience. And yes. uh, I think uh, I'm always a little kind of concerned that future generations are going to not know what this is. Uh, particularly so uh, a theater and musical inclined as we are, um, to actually see the stage production, um, the curtains, the timing, the light tricks, the, uh, the whole technical direction aspect of it, so much more than just the music and, and uh, the, the, sh the show itself. It's, it's, 
you know, the whole experience. Yeah. Well, speaking of theater, I think, <laughs> um, remember the summer when I asked you about your red velvet curtains? Yes. And he suggested I go get, uh, you know, uh, some yardage, and I did. And without sewing, uh, I put together, and I sent you a picture of those theater. Yeah. Uh, because I sent I you a my... sketch, and you made it happen. Oh, yes. And there were three of us, and uh, it was for a, a friend of mine that taught with me and helped fun working with other people mm -hmm. and 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 she had left on maternity leave and didn't come back to our school and so now she's retired you know and it's like 20 years later and she still never had a party like a goodbye party Aww. so we thought this is her retirement let's make it really big so we chose i chose cabaret welcome, bienvenue. welcome old friends <laughs> Young friends, family, Kathleen. And so we changed the words. Shh, don't say anything. And uh, <laughs> we, uh, we did a dance routine on stools and top hats and boas. And we did two numbers, and it was like 40 minutes. And uh, it was so much fun. I mean, it took a lot of planning because everything was on Zoom. Yeah. And so everything was at my place because I have the grand piano. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah, and of course, that entails when you get three women together, what do you do? You sing, you dance, and you eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. So, oh, I, I still do crazy things like that. Anybody <laughs> who asks me to be on the planning committee, they go, Daria, we can't do it without you. We need you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, so, he rolls. But, yeah, it rolls. But because of COVID, you know, it's not easy. I mean, I did something like that with Lion King for somebody who retired, but that was live. I mean, not me, Jess, but I was, you know, in on it. And then we did um, another one that was Zoom, and then this was the biggest. And then nobody talked to each other for about three months. We were so tired. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, it was worth it. You're it still having fun, and you're still having music as a as a part of your life if, uh, for oh, entertainment, for exactly. enjoyment, for yeah. uh, connecting with your friends, and uh, and you know making the most out of life. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's good to have a, a passion. Uh, you know, your work and mine just it, it just came together. I had the teaching and I had the music. And then I ended up teaching music for 15 years, so mm -hmm. out of 30. That's not too bad. Meanwhile, I did, did do a lot of singing. Uh, it's just who I am. I don't look, don't search the limelight, but I like to be uh, singing uh, with people, and, and kids especially. I just love hearing children's voices singing. It's a beautiful sound, yeah. Yeah. 